Alrighty, so here we go. We got the uh, Get ECU installed here. Same exact process as the other ECU. You simply plug in the um, harness connector, put the lever uh, back into its little place. It'll click in. Um, and there's two little dongle wires that are right here that I've kind of tucked away right now. Um, these are access ports to reset the power valve and the endpoints of the TPS. Um, and they give you a provided cable that hooks up to the battery, positive and negative terminals. And then you can basically power up the system here with, with this connector. Um, and for, for um, tonight's demo, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna put this little cap back on here and do the little tuckeroni. We're not gonna use this. I'm gonna put this over here. We're going to use the trusty dusty wake up connector. And uh, there, we're gonna basically be using this access port to do this. And this is for a 23, 125, the 24, it's in the same location, but the connector looks different. So basically what we're gonna do right now is set the endpoints to the power valve on both maps. So when I plug this in, the map switch is gonna light up green or white. We're gonna reset it, unplug the wake up connector, run it for a second, uh, you know, maybe maybe 10 seconds or whatever, just make sure it's not doing anything funny and then shut it off, replug back in the wake up connector to do it on both maps. It's not in the manu the get manual to do it that way or the stock uh, OEM manual to reset it on both maps. It only says plug it in and do it. I like to just do it on both maps in the event that there is some strange little iteration in the process. So what we're gonna do right now is the reset for the power valve with the get, wake up connector and the throttle, stock configuration, you hold it at half and do this. This one, it's a full grab. We need it a little bit easier in that regard. So we're gonna plug this in. You're gonna hear it click on. That was a fuel pump kicking on. It's on the white map up here. Now I'm gonna come over to the, to the throttle, just grab a handful, wait a couple seconds. It did its little thing. Now I'm going to let go of the throttle after five seconds. Unplug the wake up connector. Let that, I'm gonna put that in my pocket. And I'm just gonna simply fire up the bike for a second and uh, make sure it's okay. Should click off in a second or so. You can look at the, the white um, the map. I put it on green. I should click off any second if this is working right. We're learning together here. Right, it clicked off. I'm gonna plug in the wake up connector again. I don't know if it defaulted to white. Let's see. Yeah, it defaulted to white. So I'm gonna just simply come over here now, put it on the green map. Then I come over here and grab a handful of throttle. You heard it move a little bit. It's gonna make a sound. There it goes, same sort of thing as stock. I'm gonna hold it there for five seconds. Let it go. Unplug the wake up uh, connector. And again, just fire this up. Make sure it switches between the maps back and forth while it's running. <laughs> something together actually it, when you plug in the wake up connector uh, to reset the power valve uh, it defaults to the white all the time so um, that's something I just stumbled upon and you heard you saw it click off um, don't be surprised if for some reason if you don't start it or whatever and you you unplug the wake up connector 
and that light stays on if you if you don't um, start the bike for like an, an extra minute or so I noticed that a few times when I didn't go to start it right away I, I noticed that maybe it took about two minutes or so and then the light finally went off so don't be super concerned it's not going to stay on all night and drain your battery um, so that kind of covers the basic powering up of the system with the wake up connector through the access port and then we're going to again it's not a half throttle for the for this uh, get, it's gonna be a full full grab of, of the throttle. And then I just started in between, make sure that it switches between maps. And uh, that'll do it for this one. I, I appreciate it. Please uh, like my video, subscribe. The next video I'm gonna drop is gonna be how to set the endpoints of the TPS system. Um, again, with the wake up connector and the throttle. So there's gonna be a series of buttons and twists we have to do with the kill switch the wake up connector and the throttle, it's a little more involved, but it is very simple. And it basically follows the, the four strokes. You have to set the endpoints um, to the TPS. It, it is just uh, one of the natures of, of, of the beast, but appreciate you all. God bless, thanks a lot, man. Please like and subscribe.